What's up guys, J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from Marshall Lanes here in Marshall, Michigan, where we're going through the series of videos where we're gonna do it on each pattern. Now, I'm getting a little tired and I'm only through ball two. That's good though, that's a good practice going into the Players' Championship, no big deal. Um, but we're gonna take that aerodynamics and we're gonna come over here now on the 39 foot chameleon pattern. Uh, same layout as the knockout, that 55 by four by 65, uh, pin right in the middle or right in the ring, just a little bit lower than the ring. Uh, and uh, we're gonna take it out here on 39 foot pattern. You saw how good it was on the 41 foot bear. Now let's see if it gives us a really good shape on 39 foot pattern, all the same. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, aerodynamics on 39 foot chameleon now. We saw how good it was on that bear pattern. So I'm pretty excited to take it with me. Let's see what it does. Going a little straighter on 39 feet. And we'll go left as we need to go. Strong, that one picked up way quicker than the knockout did on this pattern. So we struck from there with the knockout. Remember this one, um, this, pat this is that pattern that it wanted the straighter angles. We got too far left too quick, it was not very good. We had to go back to the right. Um, so we saw this was the opposite of the knockout as far as the angles it wanted. It actually wanted more open angles with more around it. So maybe this pattern, it'll let me go further left on this pattern, I'm not sure. We're gonna find out, but we're gonna make that little bit of a move to the left. Ah, oh, this thing's really picking up compared to the knockout on this pair. Really picking up lane now. So this, uh, this ball definitely is gonna like more open angles. It's gonna wanna see a little bit more left or right. So I'm gonna go to where I think I need to be to get a little bit more lined up with this ball. Should be able to get to let's go like uh somewhere like 13 or 14 to four 14 to four how about that ish to see those more open angles and that wasn't exactly around it so I could get my hand around it to get it to finish a little bit better through the pins but you could see how much earlier it's trying to pick up even though it's technically a shinier ball than what the knockout is the knockout being symmetrical this being asymmetric this is picking up quite a bit sooner so now I'm just gonna go I'll go one more left, keep my eyes the same, get my hand around it a little bit. That's much better. I think this is actually gonna allow me to go a little bit more to the left, even. I can even go around it some more, I think. And still have enough ball to get through the pins where the knockout was giving me a little bit over under on this pattern when I got further left. So now, let's get over here. Let's see if we can kind of go around it just a little bit. Didn't want to, didn't want to lay off, it almost laid off. But didn't quite, so let me go a couple more left and try to throw it a little bit further right. Let's see if it goes around the lane it's like I want. But that was close, like the ball reaction was still good. That's what I was looking for. So this might allow me to open up this pattern just a little bit. trying to get there. I do like what I see out of it. So let me show you, I'm gonna throw the knockout in that similar spot. So 
you can see the difference here. Knockout should be cleaner and quicker. Yeah, that's pfft. had no chance of getting there. It was just trying to pick it up and it went. It was going. Doesn't blend it out. Wasn't a great shot either, but you could see just ball reaction wise it has the knockout has no chance playing that part of the lane. Whereas the aerodynamics at least tries to tries to get there. So I'm gonna try and go around it again. One more shot. Oh, that's a bad shot. All right, one more shot. Since I wanna throw them awful back to back like that. We'll throw one more. And get it to the right spot down line. I'm trying to rush through these because I got so many videos to do on all these patterns with these different balls. I'm trying to get through them too quick. All right, here we go. Last shot. That's better. Yeah, so you see it pick up and get there. So didn't quite get through the pens, but that's okay. All right, there you go. So there's the aerodynamics, uh, the new Ebonite ball. Same layout again. I was at 55 by 4 by 65. Made it, uh, the, asymmet the asymmetric core compared to the symmetric core, you could obviously see a big difference in ball reaction as far as front to back goes. Aerodynamics, even though it was a shinier cover, still wanted to see it a little bit quicker, but it blended it out and it allowed me to get a my hand around it and did some good things on both of these patterns. So the 39 foot and the 41 foot pattern, you could see it looked great on the 41 foot pattern. A little iffy here on the 39 foot pattern, but I think it'll be good once they break down a little bit more and the carry down starts to get there where there's a little bit more oil down lane to the right. I think this will be, the aerodynamics will be great. The knockout looked pretty good going straighter. Didn't look very good going uh, left or right on this lane. Um, but next up, we're gonna take it over on the 48 foot shark pattern and see what it's got over there. Um, but make sure to hit that link in the description, bowlerx.com, get yours today. Head over here to Marshall Lanes, come see Joe and his dad. They're gonna get you all taken care of over here with open bowling and everything you need. Um, we're in Marshall. Michigan. So until next time, guys, I'm out of here. See you later.